June marks the celebration of Pride Month, a time for us to honor the resilience and contribution of the LGBTQI plus community worldwide. Mr. Garcetti, since you are ambassador to India, we welcome you as our guest and respect you accordingly. We have seen your shenanigans and all your peculiarities since you have arrived. But what you have said and done today, we want you to stop. Stop and learn the law of the land. The land where civilization is thousands of years old, unlike your country, which is a few decades old, which was snatched for Native Americans. So we want you to first learn the law of this land where we pray Ardhanari, Shiv Shakti, which is half male, half female version of God. And we pray to them, we revere them, along with all the male and female goddesses, unlike many other cultures. So first, learn about this civilization before you utter a single word. Also, unlike US, which was once the land of the free, which has now converted to land of freaks in India, we do not glorify our bedroom preferences. We keep our sexual preferences to ourselves. And for the others who have different preferences, we respect them as well. Look around. There are lots of people before you even started your pride parades. Right? So we already have that kind of culture in India and we don't need to glorify any of the sexual preferences of the other person. We glorify our karmas. We look for karma and we are looking at your karma as well. To keep it short, leave your mental illnesses of vocary and pride parade back in your country. They don't belong here. They are not law of this land. We believe in equality and we do not need to glorify what our sexual preferences are. We don't care who you sleep with. So as far as you are keeping it in your pants, we are fine with it. Back in US, you can teach your kid about all this vocary and all this critical race theory and all this you know, LGBTQI and shit in India. Dare not to do that. If you try to influence our education system and try to play with our kids' futures, our children's Futures, you will get back what you deserve. Since you are guests, once again, we respect you as a guest. And we will welcome you accordingly. Because that is in our civilization. But once again, we will ask you to stop with your pride parades and all the pride month shit. Keep it to yourself and keep it in your family. Thank you.